Welcome everybody, this is Alan with Daily Armor of God. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is my Finishing the Bible in One Year project, and we are on day 125. 125. So, thank you so much for joining me. Hope you're all doing well. Let's get started. Isaiah 28, 29, and 30 is what we'll be doing today. Isaiah, Isaiah. Those are the books we'll do it today. So, mm -mm -mm. adjust here. <laughs> Sorry, should have checked before. Okay, so as I twenty eight one, a frame's captivity predicted. Woe to the crown of pride, to the drunkards, to Ephraim, whose glorious beauty is a fading flower, which are on the head of the fat valleys of them that are overcome with wine. Behold, Jehovah hath a mighty and strong one, which as a tempest of hail and a destroying storm, as a flood of mighty waters overflowing, shall cast down the earth with the hand. The crown of pride, the drunkards of Ephraim, shall be trodden underfoot. The glorious beauty, which is on the head of the fat valley, shall be fading flower shall be a fading flower as a hasty fruit before the summer which when he that looketh upon this upon it seeth while it is yet in his hand he eateth it up in the day in that day shall jehovah of hosts be a, for a crown of glory and for a diadem of beauty unto the residue of his people and for a spirit of judgment to him that sitteth in judgment and for strength to them that turn to the battle to the gate but the they also have erred through wine and through strong drink are out of the way. The priests and the prophet have erred through strong drink and they are swallowed up a wine and they are out of the way through strong drink. They err in vision, they stumble in judgment. All the tables are full of vomit and filthiness so that there is no place clean. Whom shall he teach knowledge and whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breasts. For precept must precept must be upon precept to precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. Are these is this for real? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I have my Bible in my lap, um, my KJV Bible. And so I have it open just so I can see the physical words. Cause you know, I don't think that they would do this but you never know like online they could maybe change it I don't know I doubt they would but I like to have physical copy as well okay it's a weird chapter so far let's continue for with stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to his people to whom he said this is the rest wherewith ye may cause to weary to rest and this is the refreshing yet they would not hear but the word of Jehovah was unto them precept upon precept precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little, and there a little, that they may go and they may fall backward and be broken and snared and taken. What are they even talking about right now? I just read 13 verses and I don't even know what's going on. I feel like Isaiah, so far, in all of our 28 books, or I mean 28 chapters in Isaiah, I feel like I have no idea what was even said in 28 books. I know that sounds bad. I read each one up to 28. Here we are in 28. I could not for the life of me tell you what what the past books mean. And I mean, I'm going to have to go back and try to like do or look for like a summary of some sorts. But I have no idea. Isaiah is just so confusing. It is so confusing. So... I wish I understood, I really do, and I pray for discernment, knowledge, and wisdom. I pray that the Holy Spirit will guide me when I read. I pray, pray. I pray right now that we can we can uh, understand. If anyone's watching, if anyone's listening, I pray that you can understand Isaiah. <laughs> Not just Isaiah, but the whole Bible. And I pray that I can understand it as well, and discern it, and divide it divide the truth. Okay, let's move on. 28.14. Wherefore, hear the word of Jehovah, ye scornful men that rule this people which is in Jerusalem. That rhymes. 
Because you have said we have made a con covenant with death, and with hell are we at agreement, when the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us, for we have made lies a refuge, and under falsehood have we hid ourselves. Therefore thus saith Jehovah Elohim, Behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation of stone, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation that he believe shall not make haste. Judgment also will I lay to the lion, and righteousness to the plummet. And the hail shall sweep away the refuge of lies, and the water shall overflow the hiding place. And your covenant with death shall be disannulled, and your agreement with hell shall not stand. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, then ye shall be trodden down by it. From the time that it goeth forth, it shall take you for the morning. By morning shall it pass over, by day and by night, and it shall be a vexation only to understand the report. For the bed is shorter than that a man can stretch himself on it in the covering narrow, than that he can wrap himself in it. Ah, okay. I wonder if, uh... Let me just let me just uh, double check this real quick. Okay. For Jehovah shall rise up, as in Mount Perazim, he shall be wroth, as in the valley of Gibeon, that he may do his work, his strange work, and bring to pass his act, his strange act. Now therefore be ye not mockers, lest your bands be made strong. For I have heard from Jehovah Elohim of hosts a consumption even uh, determined upon the whole earth. Give ye ear, and hear my voice, hearken, and hear my speech. Doth the plowman plow all day to sow? Doth he open and break the clods of his ground? When he hath made plain in the face thereof, doth he not cast abroad the fitches, and scatter the cumin, cumin, and cast the principal wheat, and the appointed barley, and the rye in their place? For his Elohim doth instruct him to discretion, and doth teach him. The fitches are not threshed with a threshing instrument, neither is a cartwheel turned about upon the cumin, but the fitches are beaten out with a staff and the cumin with a rod. Bread corn is bruised because he will not ever be, be threshing it, nor break it with the wheel of his cart, nor bruise it with his horsemen. Which have this, excuse me, this also come forth from Jehovah of hosts, which is wonderful in counsel and excellent in working. Wow, what a confusing uh, chapter that was. All right. Isaiah 29, Jerusalem is warned. Woe to Ariel, to Ariel, the city where David dwelt. And ye year to year, let them kill sacrifices. Yet I will distress Ariel, and there shall be heaviness and sorrow, and shall be unto me as Ariel. What does this Ariel mean? <laughs> um, Ariel? Let's see. 29.1. I'm checking here. Ariel. B, uh, Jerusalem. Lion of God. Oh, cool. So Ariel means Lion of God? Or it means Jerusalem? Which means Lion of God, I, I think. Okay, interesting. Okay, and I will come against thee round about, and I will lay siege against thee with a mount, and I will raise forts against thee. And thou shalt be brought down, and shalt speak out of the ground, and thy speech shall be low out of the dust, and thy voice shall be as one of as, as of one that hath familiar spirit out of the ground, and thy speech shall whisper out of the dust. Okay, weird. Moreover, the multitude of thy strangers shall be like small dust, and the multitude of the terrible ones shall be as chaff that passeth away, yea, it shall be at an instant suddenly. Thou shalt be visited by, uh, excuse me, of Jehovah of hosts with thunder and with an earthquake and a great noise, with the storm and the tempest and the flame of the devouring fire. And a multitude of all the nations that fight against Ariel, even 
all that fight against her and her munition and that distress her shall be as a dream of a night vision it shall be as when a hungry man dreameth and behold he eateth but he awaketh and his soul is empty or as when a thirsty man dreameth and behold he drinketh but he awaketh and behold he is faint and his soul hath appetite so shall the multitude of all nations be that fight against mount zion hmm. you know that <laughs> just reminds me of um a time i was living in london and uh and money was tight and I didn't uh, really have much to eat and during the night I had really vivid very vivid dreams about eating like at a buffet place and um, I it felt so real like I was actually eating and then when I woke up I obviously was hungry still <laughs> but it was weird it's so hungry that you dream about food and then it just seems so real. Alright, anyway. Stay yourselves and wonder. Cry ye out and cry they are drunken, but not with wine. They stagger, but not with strong drink. For Jehovah hath poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep and hath closed your eyes, the prophets and your rulers. The seers hath he covered. The vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed, which men deliver to one that is learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he said, I cannot, for it is sealed. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he saith, I am not learned. Okay, that I seriously thought I just reread the <laughs> the same verse again. Oh my word, that is so trippy. I thought I reread it. I'm like, what? I reread that twice. That would be embarrassing, but no, it's this, it's very similar. Tripping me up. Therefore, Jehovah said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. Wherefore, behold, I will proceed to do a marvelous work among this people, even as marvelous work and a wonder. For the wisdom of of their wise men shall perish, and they understand of their prudent men shall be hid. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to understand this, guys. I really am trying, but it's so hard. I really don't know what exactly is going on. I keep bumping my mic, and I'm sorry. Okay. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from Jehovah, and their works are in the dark, and they say, Who seeth us, and who knoweth us? Surely your churning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the work of say of him the work say of him that he made it he made me not, or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he hath no he had no understanding? Is it not yet a very little while, and Lebanon shall be turned into a fruitful field, and the fruitful field shall be esteemed as a forest? And the day that, and in the day shall the deaf hear the words of the book, and the eyes of the blind shall see out of obscurity and out of darkness? The meek also shall increase their joy in Jehovah, and the poor among men shall rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. For the terrible one is brought to naught, and the scorner is consumed, and all that watch for antiquity are cut off. That make a man an offender for a word, and lay a snare for him that reproveth in the gate, and turn aside the just for a thing of naught. Therefore thus saith Jehovah, who redeemed Abraham concerning the house of Jacob, Jacob shall now, not now be ashamed, neither shall his face wax pale. But when he seeth his children, the work of mine hands in the midst of him, they shall sanctify my name, sanctify the Holy One of Jacob, and shall fear the Elohim of Israel. They also that erred in spirit shall come to understanding, and they that murmured shall learn doctrine. Okay. Isaiah 31. 30, verse 1, excuse me. Woe to the rebellious children, saith 
Jehovah, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin, that walk to go down into Egypt, and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, and trust in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. For his princes were at Zoan, and his ambassadors came to Hans. They were all ashamed of a people that could not profit them, nor be a help, nor profit, but a shame and also reproach. The burden of beasts of the south into the land of trouble and anguish, from whence come the young and the old lion, the viper and the fiery flying serpent. They will carry their riches upon the shoulders of young asses and their treasures upon the bunches of camels to a people that shall not profit them. For the Egyptians shall help in vain and to no purpose. Therefore have I cried concerning this, their strength is to sit still. Now go, write it before them at a table, and note it in a book, that it may be for the time to come, for ever and ever. That is rebellious people, that, uh, th that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of, of Jehovah, which say to the seers, See not, and to the prophets, prophecy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophecy deceits. Get you out of the way, turn aside out of the path, because the Holy One of Israel is ceased from before us. Wherefore thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this world, and trust in oppression and perverseness, and stay thereon. Therefore this antiquity shall be to you as a breach, ready to fall, swelling out of, out in a high place, whose breaking cometh suddenly in an instant. And he that shall break it as the breaking of a potter's vessel that is broken in pieces, he shall not spare so that there shall not be found in the bursting of it assured to take fire from the hearth, or to take water withal out of the pit. For thus saith Jehovah Elohim, the Holy One of Israel, In returning in rest shall ye be saved, in quietness and in confidence shall be your strength, and ye would not. But ye said no, for we will flee upon horses, therefore shall ye flee, and we will ride upon the swift, therefore shall they pursue you. Be swift. One thousand shall flee at the rebuke of one, at the rebuke of five shall ye flee, till ye be left as a beacon upon the top of a mountain, and as an ensign on a hill. And therefore will Jehovah wait, that he may be gracious unto you, and therefore will he be exalted, that he may be, may have mercy upon you. For Jehovah is a Elohim, of judgment. Blessed are all they that wait for him. For the people shall dwell in Zion at Jerusalem. Thou shalt weep no more. He will be very gracious unto thee at the voice of thy cry. When he shall hear it, he will answer thee. And though Jehovah, uh, oh Lord, huh, it's different now. This is all capital. Now it's, this is just a capital L. And though the Lord, I'll just say Lord, give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner any more, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers, and thine eyes shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way, walk ye in it, when ye turn to the right hand and when ye turn to the left hand. Ye shall defile also the covering of thy graven images of silver and the ornament of thy molten images of gold. That shalt cast them away as a menstruous cloth, and thou shalt say unto get thee hence. And um, excuse me. Then shall he give the rain of thy seed, that thou shalt sow the ground withal, and bread of the increase of the earth, and it shall be a fat and plenteous. In that day shall the cattle feed in large pastures. The oxen likewise and the young asses that ear the ground shall clean, eat clean provender, which hath been winnowed with the shovel and with the fan. And there shall be upon every high mountain and upon every high hill rivers and streams of waters in the day of the great slaughter when the towers fall. Moreover, the light of the moon shall be as the light of a sun, and the light of the sun shall be sevenfold as the light of seven days. In the day that Jehovah bindeth up the breach of his people and healeth the stroke of the, their wound. Behold, the name of Jehovah cometh from far, burning with his anger, and the burden thereof is heavy. His lips are full of indignation, and his tongue as a devouring fire. And his breath an overflowing stream shall reach to the midst of the neck, and sift the nations with a sieve of vanity. And there shall be a bridle in the jaws of his people, causing them to err. Ye shall have a song, as in the night, when a holy solemnity is kept, and gladness of heart. 
as when one goeth with a pipe to come into the mountain of Jehovah, the mighty one of Israel. And Jehovah shall cause his glorious voice to be heard and shall shew the lightning down of his arm with the indignation of his anger and the flame of the iron fire with the scattering and the tempest and hailstones. For through the voice of Jehovah shall the Assyrian be beaten down, which smote with a rod. And every place where the ground, grounded staff shall pass, which Jehovah shall lay upon him, it shall be with tabrets and harps, and in battles of shaking will he fight with it. For Tophet is ordained of old, yea, for the king it is prepared. He hath made it deep and large, and the pile thereof is fire and much wood, and the breadth of Jehovah like a stream of brimstone doth kindle it. Okay. Here's the daily promise. For every creature of God is good, and nothing to be refused, for it is to be received with thanksgiving, for it is sanctified by the word of God in prayer. First Timothy four, four through five. Oh, I still need to I need to remember to fix this. I wonder can I I messed that up. Sorry, right, hang on. I was trying to fix it, but I'll do it after this episode. Sorry, I, I know it's cut off. Bear with me. Here's the reflection. All things created by God are good and beyond questioning, and he gives to us out of his bountiful mercy. Let us receive his gifts gladly with thanksgiving and consecrate them through prayer. End quote. Okay, let's pray. Dear Jehovah, our Elohim, our Abba, thank you so much for today. Thank you for all that you've done for us today. Thank you so much. Thank you that we're able to read your word. Thank you that uh, we can learn more about you, grow closer to you. Please draw closer to us. Please continue to work in us. Please continue to um, help us see the truth in your word and have discernment of your word. Just thank you so much for everything. Thank you for all that you've done, all that you're doing, and all that you will do. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you. Thank you, Abba. Thank you, Elohim. Amen. Amen and amen. So thank you guys so much for watching listening. Hope you have a good evening, morning, night, wherever you're at. And as always, TTFN. Ta-ta for now. Take care. God bless. And remember, put God first in everything you do. See you later.